good evening, rather good morning. People don't like Westboro Baptist Church because they're so negative, they're so mean, they're so nasty. You can kill more flies with vinegar than you can with honey. That's why we don't like them. If you look at society, despite what some people try to say, that the good people always are rewarded and celebrated and promoted, you will see nasty people, mean people getting elevated revered, venerated, celebrated by society. So I really don't think Westboro Baptist Church is demeaned and hated because solely at least of their hatred and their meanness and their nastiness. There's plenty of other people who get celebrated because not just in spite of their meanness, Westboro Baptist Church is against everything, so is that why people are against them? I don't think it's quite that simple. When I was a kid, one of my favorite magazines was Mad Magazine. Open up Mad Magazine and they are cynical to the max. They poke fun at everything, yet people eat it up like candy. What's the difference? I think it's largely this. Westboro Baptist Church pokes fun at the world, ridicules the world, taunts the world, damns the world from its own perspective. While Mad Magazine seems to do something very similar, Mad Magazine ridicules the world, satirizes the world, parodies the world, mocks the world, scoffs at the world, condemns the world, but it does it through our perspective. A common feature in Mag Magazine is don't you hate blah 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 blah, don't you hate going to the movies and this happening blah 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 blah. It sits in our seats and it looks at the world from our perspective and all the things that we find inconvenient, annoying, irritating, they laugh at. That's what makes Mad Magazine so successful over all these years. Westboro Baptist Church is not doing that. Furthermore, like I've said in other videos, it's an issue of moralism. Westboro Baptist Church is very moralistic in how it condemns, how it scoffs at and mocks society and the world. Mad Magazine is not moralistic. In fact, moralism is one thing it scoffs at. So if you take away the moralism, if you take away looking at the world from their perspective rather than yours, then you have successful iconoclasm, which Mad Magazine is all about. If one can be like Mad Magazine rather than Westboro Baptist Church, I think one can go very far in this world of ours. So in essence, do this. Ridicule, mock, scoff the world all you like, but do it from the perspective of the world of people in different positions. Second, scoff, mock the world, poke fun at the world, ridicule the world, condemn the world, but do it without moralism. There's little that is more revered than the most irreverent among us. Therefore, it is very noble to be irreverent. However, it takes quite the nuances to be mastered to succeed at this. You can't just go into iconoclasm without doing it correctly. Therefore, be like Mad Magazine and not Westboro Baptist Church. This is a note to myself, a lesson I'm trying to learn well.